Some of the common problems that kids face when, when, uh, when they begin to have trouble with drugs and alcohol, and they may not even be aware that they have a problem, but there's some signs that, that can indicate that they're beginning to have difficulties in life because of their drug or alcohol use. Uh, first one that comes to mind would be school difficulties, um, talking with teachers, getting into arguments with, with, uh, with officials at the school, uh, maybe getting suspended, getting into fights having just general issues with authority figures, um, having trouble completing assignments, not showing up to class. So that's an area where, where kids can have trouble. Another area very common for kids with drug and alcohol issues is at home. I mean, it's, it's already tough being a teenager and, and parents, that whole thing is just a, it's, it's a, it's a difficult time in, in the life for everyone uh, raising teenagers. And so on top of that, when you add the drug and alcohol, there's more fighting, there's more verbal arguments, there's more, um, bucking of the rules, not following what mom and dad or aunt and uncle or grandparent may say. And so there's more conflict in the home. Another area would be legal issues. It's real common for kids with drug and alcohol um, problems to get in trouble with the law. They may get a shoplifting case. They may get a loitering charge. They may be out past curfew. You know, not too many good things happen past 11 o'clock at night during the school week. And when kids are doing drugs and alcohol, that's a time when they're out messing around and getting into trouble. I think the relationship with friends are, are important too. A lot of times, kids that come into our program, um, say in their early, early, you know, years, say junior high or, or before that, they're involved in sports, they're involved in their church group, they're involved in in school plays, school activities. When they begin using drugs and alcohol, then that that pool of friends begins to narrow to a group that uses drugs and alcohol and gets into more of those types of uh, of behaviors. I think for a kid wondering if they were addicted struggling with addiction if they if they were at that point of it being more than just a once in a while event i think a way to determine that would be if they feel a real sense of uh, loss of control in their life do they feel that they cannot do the day-to-day -day things in their life without being high do they feel that they they can't control what's going on do they feel that in order to to function in school and family in other activities that they got to be loaded then i would believe that they're on that uh, road to addiction and I think just that general sense of a lock or a lack of control, loss of, of uh, a feeling like they can control what's going on in their life.